Hello, Internet. This is Rob here. Thank you guys for uh, for stopping by and listening to some of these some of these reaction videos. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing. I definitely appreciate it. It's always nice to know that you're being appreciated listening to and listened to. So uh, thank you guys for that. And uh, we're watching some uh, Christmas songs today because it's kind of the season for that. Um, and uh, this is Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. I really love this tune. This is one of my favorites. Um, found this guy, Gerald Albright and the Cannonball Band. I've never heard of this guy before, but, but the, I, I watched this a little bit ago and it, it was pretty, pretty great recording of the song. And, um, so, uh, you'll see that he has a four saxophone players. So he's got Barry and, uh, I can't remember if there's a, yeah, he has a couple of, couple of altos and, but, um, really cool jazzy version of this song. So, uh, let's, let's check this out. Already hear the maybe a bossa nova, maybe or a samba. Already you got absolutely killer Latin beat going um, and then you can hear that one thing I think is really neat about this is he has a I mean this is basically a combo right it's not a full uh, full jazz band but but he's got kind of a, a horn section here you know just like in a big band and they can kind of come in and out like a like a horn section so um, really nice recording so far <laughs> So what you heard right there was something called a substitution chord. So instead of playing a major, or just a regular one major chord there, they substituted a another like it's like a diminished chord or something. Uh, let's hear that that version again. Uh, how he substituted, where he kind of went darker there with the chords. <laughs> That's a typical jazz substitution, it's called. I've heard people do that a lot on um, Summer of the Rainbow. Anytime you've heard that song, it, it, usually you hear that substitution chord on that first note of the first chord of the song. And I'm sorry, sorry to keep stopping it, but, but that substitution chord, what's so cool about that is notice that it wasn't on the very first uh, chord of the song, I don't think, but as you go in, there's that, that chord has more tension to it, right? So instead of putting it on the very first, you, you go, 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 and then as you're putting tension through the song, you throw that tension chord in there. It sounds really nice. <laughs>
He does a lot of triplets. Right? Triplet one. Right? He's throwing a lot of triplets. Like He did a pattern going down and then he did another pattern going up where where he kind of just picked his notes and kind of went up, 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 right? really nice so the, so those big horn parts there I mean when you have a horn part like that you all three have to be really strong it sounds really bad if, if they're not all strong and you could hear a couple of those where they battled up and they do it like a little stop too they do it they, they have nice little spaces in there where they can do little phrases that, that somebody has written out I don't know if that I know that uh, Gerald Albright is the black saxophone player guy who did the big long solo but I don't know if he wrote out all this music or not I have no idea but whoever wrote out these horn parts are writing really nice horn parts um, let's hear that again tell one thing that they're doing too jazzy wise is they're there's they're not doing the have yourself a merry little christmas you know they're not doing it boring he's kind of throwing his own little version in there and that's something very if for those of you that aren't really familiar with jazz that's something that you you sort of must do it's it's like kind of an it's almost like an obligation in jazz that you don't want to do it exactly like the original you want to kind of put your little flavor in
That was really nice. Boy, like I said, the bossa nova sounds so good with that song. I'm sure uh, the song sounds really good with uh, with like a swing beat maybe with that same sort of, that was kind of a medium, medium tempo. But um, yeah, really, really nice version. I, I'm really impressed by the horn parts. The The background horn parts sounded really, they weren't too much too. They they really did a good job of of not playing too much, you know, not bringing in too many horn parts, but uh, and they did they did a really good job of passing around the solo to every, giving everybody a little section to kind of go off and do their thing. So really good, really nice version of that. Gerald Albright and the Cannonball Band is the name of their group, but uh, uh, yeah, there you go. All right, do some more of these. All right, see you guys later.